Baywatch was the hottest show back in the 90s. Everyone was falling for David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson. But do you want to know what happened to the other cast members? Do you want to know which cast member was in prison for stabbing a woman? Then just keep on watching, because here are the guys from Baywatch, then and now. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10, David Charvet, AKA Matt Brody. Well, we're going to be starting off this list with the guy we all knew as Matt Brody on Baywatch. In fact, did you know that this was David's first ever acting role? He was born in Lyon, France, and came to the States after getting his green card in the lottery. Right after coming to the States, he managed to book a role on one of the most popular shows on TV. And even though he was considered a successful actor, starring in both Baywatch and Melrose Place, he didn't feel like he belonged there. Since the beginning of the new millennium, he has been focusing on his music career and has released three albums in French and English. Even though he had been dabbling in acting until 2010, his main occupation was music. And if you're wondering how he's holding on, we'd say pretty amazing. He still rocks a six pack and a chiseled chest, so we'd say he's pretty fine. Number nine, Brandon Cole, AKA Hobie Buchanan. For some of the most loyal fans of the show, you know that the character Hobie Buchanan, Mitch's son, was played by Brandon Cole. But this was only during the first season of the show. That sweet kid that we knew and loved experienced a growth spurt during the taping of the show, and Hasselhoff couldn't throw him around or hold him in his hands anymore. Before he knew it, season two got a new Hobie, but more on that later. But because he retired from acting back in the second half of the 90s, it's really hard to find a good photo of him. Here's a portrait of the former actor. And if you want to know who was the actor that replaced him on Baywatch, then keep watching until number six rolls around. Number eight, John Allen Nelson, AKA John D. Court. From 1989 until 1995, we'd known Nelson as John D. Court and he was pretty smoking hot if you ask us. In fact, in many of his following movies, he always played the hot and ripped guy on set. Now, the list of films he starred in was pretty low, but when it comes to TV, Nelson is still acting. The last show he appeared on was Crazy Ex-Girlfriend in 2016 and 2017. Now, we don't know if he's a very private guy or if he just doesn't like taking photos, but we could barely find recent pictures of him. This is the most common one we came across, and here you can still see he's got the looks with a little salt and pepper look going for him. And based on his belly, we'd say he's not as ripped as before. Number seven, Peter Phelps, AKA Trevor Cole. You knew Trevor, I knew Trevor, we all knew Trevor, but you might not recognize him today. Actor Peter Phelps has changed a lot since the show. Even though this Aussie actor has been regularly appearing on TV shows and movies, both in the US and Australia, he still added quite a bit of weight. But in all fairness, he is 60, so we'll let it slide. Plus, we felt like we would be doing the actor a disservice if we didn't mention that he's also a singer and an author. Number six, Jeremy Jackson, AKA Hobie Buchanan. Before we get into this actor's life story about fame and drug abuse, don't forget to smash that like button so that you can keep getting these awesome videos for free. As we already said, this is the actor that replaced Brenton Call as Hobie on the show. The actor says that he used to have it all back in the day. At the age of 16, he had already made $3 million, a feat that most people can't achieve in their lifetimes. But with all of that money came a lot of problems. After battling with drug addiction and surrounding himself with all the wrong people, Jeremy found himself on the criminals list. In 2015, he actually stabbed a woman and he was sentenced to 270 days in prison as part of a plea bargain. After serving his time, the actor is trying to get his life back in order. He had a makeover, he's been going through therapy, and he really is a changed man. He's still ripped as ever, by the way. Number five, Monty Markham, AKA Don Thorpe. Captain Don Thorpe was an icon on Baywatch, and he always liked everything to be impeccably neat on his beach. As for the actor, we should tell you that he was born in 1935, and he's still alive as of making this video. That means the actor is 86 years old, 
which means he was part of the classic Hollywood movies back in the day. Plus, he's managed to make a name for himself on Broadway. Now, he may not have the muscle, but he's still lean and mean, just like on the show. Now, if you want to know what epic police officer Garner Ellerby looks like today, then just keep on watching till the end of the video. Number 4. Billy Warlock, aka Eddie Kramer. Now, we should start off by saying that Billy Warlock is not his real name. He was born as William Allen Lemming, and he later changed it. Whatever his real name is, we'll always remember him as Eddie Kramer, one of the main lifeguards on Baywatch. Now, here's an interesting little fact. This actor is currently 60 years old. He retired from acting back in 2011. He's still lean and mean, but now he's rocking a white head of hair. Have to admit, doesn't look bad on him. Number 3. Parker Stevenson, aka Craig Pomeroy. That hottie we saw on the set of Baywatch was also part of another popular show from the 70s called The Hardy Boys. He played a leading role on both shows, and we have to say, he's got an impressive list of roles under his belt, but his glory days are long gone. He's currently 69 years old, and even though he's pursuing a career in acting, Parker is also trying to live out a peaceful life with his new wife, celebrity chef Lisa Schoen. This is what he looks like now. And even though he looks pretty good for his age, we have to say that we can't see that young Craig Pomeroy in it. Number 2. Gregory Allen Williams, aka Garner Ellerby. He was one of the meanest cops on the beach that managed to hold on to two thieves simultaneously. He grabbed the second one's shirt with his teeth and wouldn't let go. And even though he hasn't given up on his acting career, currently, Gregory is focusing most of his attention on his writing career. So far, he's written two books, A Gathering of Heroes, Reflection on Rage, and Responsibility, a memoir of the Los Angeles riots. And yeah, from his current photos, you can see he's still going strong, despite being 65 years old. Number 1. David Hasselhoff, aka Mitch Buchanan. As we've said, he and Pamela Anderson were the most popular stars on TV in the 90s. Everyone was talking about how hot Pamela was and how handsome David Hasselhoff really is. Even though he's been racking hit TV show after hit TV show, plus has managed to get inside the Guinness Book of World Records for the most watched man on TV. You can thank Baywatch and The Young and the Restless for that. His body hasn't been holding on well. And this is Hasselhoff now. His chiseled chest is no longer there. There's no flat stomach. But he's the richest person from the cast with a net worth of $10 million. So we'd say he gave up the bod for the green. On a related note, do you think Hasselhoff looks good for his age or not really? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.